Now well, here we are, back out at the beach, running some more black sand, looking for that gold. So the changes I made this time is let's just show them. Let's see if they can see. Look at all that gold. Not too bad. Changes we made. I ripped out two of the vortex mats on the cube and installed some green mat. It was built for the cube. Now, I don't have many words for it because I've only done one clean out on it, and so far I noticed that it backs up a lot of sand in the loop. Right along here, it backs up a little bit. Right along here, it backs up a little bit. But, I did find some pieces in it. We are going to take home a lot more sand out of these dream mats than if you would on a Vortex Max, just because how deep they are. So, we thought we'd give it a try. If it doesn't work, I just might try something else. But, we're on the gold, we're getting it. We're doing pretty good too. V mat works great. What it looks like. There is gold in there. Uh, let's see if I can find. I'm gonna just study it. There's some pieces. I like a whole bunch right here. It does work, but I always trustworthy of my mother little mat. My mother little mat always catches it. Look at all that gold. See, cube it or lose it. Now, well, sorry, you lose it. But it's a good setup. But if I had it my way. I'll be using 10 square feet of this mother low mat from Gold Hog. I mean, it's just gold all in here. I mean, there you go. Look at all that. Just gold. Yep. You know, and you're still going to lose it. This stuff's so fine. I mean, there's some right there right on the bottom. Whole bunch right there. So we're on a good ground. Doing good. And the waves are coming in. Oh yeah. We'll be dodging waves here in a little bit. The bucket flare and my mother low mat I installed there don't work. There you go. Look at all those pieces of gold. Just about to fall off and let the mother low catch. So if you got a gold cube and you got a bucket flare, I customize these mother low mats from Gold Hog. They fit the bucket flare perfectly and catch what the cube loses. Okay, here we are back at the beach. It's the beginning of March and uh, I'm going to show you cleanups so you can see how much we're getting. Start with the top rack, so you might want to back up so you can catch it. And come take a look. I'll tilt it sideways and watch that gold. So this is how easy it is to clean up. Here it 
in here at an angle. Super easy. Well, you're doing too. Look at that. Just completely packed full. Now, well, let's clean it. That's how I clean it with a brush. Flip it over. clean out of the cube. But, you can tell it does back up in the cube. I got some backup here going on. Probably not enough water passing through, but there's gold everywhere. And there's gold inside there too. So if it didn't make it up past there, and it's stuck here, hey, you're just taking home comms because I guarantee you there's gold in there. And here's your last tip I'll give you, or here's a good tip I'll give you. Always clean out your buckets every three. Every third bucket, clean it out. kind of hard to see sometimes on the phone but mm -hmm. to the naked eye it's quite a bit so fine, the sand so fine, I don't even have to flip it out. Perfectly clean. Well, take it back. There's one piece of gold. That's it. Let's put it back together and run some more. here the next day in the gold lab room and that is our cons two gallon bucket a little extra more cons using the dream mat it's just it is what it is it seems to caught gold i'm still kind of debating on whether it's a 
good sufficient enough map but I want to do some more testing out there later on this month and we're gonna run through this through the multi sluice I got the pitch at eight and a half degrees works best with this and uh, let's just see how much gold we got from uh, that day's worth of work here a lot of hard work boy my whole body's feeling it too up and down the cliff there there's just no easy access to that beach anymore so the rest of the season we're gonna have to emphasize on getting access to the beach but uh, we'll worry about that on other trips in the future here so let's get to moving this sand and uh, let's pull out as much gold as we can out of it well, you tell me what kind of day I'm gonna have with this Just barely touched a dent in it. Barely. A lot more to go. And it looks like that. Coming all the way down here. Let me turn this other light on, see if that helps. No, I don't have it. Yeah, I kind of see it. Well, let's keep going. I love it. Well, I'm about halfway through, just taking my sweet time. Boy, I'm just going to show you one spot of the sluice. Obviously, you can probably see the gold there. Yeah, it's not hard to tell. That ain't sand, that is gold. Just one spot. We'll just come down a little further here. Yeah, that's probably not helping, but Yeah, I think we had a really good day. Yep, I think we had a pretty good day. Yep, can't wait to pan that. That's going to be a lot of panning, too. There's some gold down at the bottom. I know I need to rerun these tailings again. That's a lot of gold, especially down at the bottom.
Oh yeah. And again. I'm only about halfway. Got a lot more to go. Okay, so I just shuttered it down. Let me shut this light off here. Ugh. Just to give you an idea. Let's do that. Boom. Okay. I shuttered it down and covered it up because I came home during the day to do this. And I don't want my wife to see it. I want to surprise her too because she put in some hard work, obviously. But there it is. I purposely covered it with sand, but that's just an unbelievable day. And again, still sitting quite a bit to go. Yep. All the way down. Trust me, my black sand is covering those up. Those things are full. All the way down to the bottom. That's not blonde sand. That is gold. That the black sand is trying to cover up so my wife doesn't see it. So, not too bad. I already saw it and I was like, wow. Let it cleaned out for a little bit and I was amazed that it's all packed full. I just might do a clean out because I'm watching this gold run right out of the sluice the really small stuff is running right out of the sluice so always rerun your tailings especially when you're seeing and messing with fine gold there's guaranteed more to be in there okay so i stopped at the halfway point and because i was just blowing gold out of the out of the sluice so you can see why that's what I gotta deal with. I'm panning that out. Get some better light here. I think I have probably one of my best days. Just because the end of this pan feels heavier than normal. This end. It was heavier than normal on my normal pans. Well, there's some super fines in there though. Anyways, let me continue this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so we ran. There's the first half of the tailings. There's the the second half in the bucket, I still got to end up running. But it was just, I was just blowing gold out of the sluice here. I was just falling. This stuff is so fine. In fact, this trip is, I'm finding a lot more of the smaller stuff. But, you know, for the most part, I take a, get a little more of that black sand out. But that's what I'm looking at. Not too bad. So, my guess is, a eh, couple grams, we'll see. I'll put it in a jar, weigh it up, and we'll find that out, and then run that here, oh, probably tomorrow night. <clears throat> this stuff is not hard to pan. Oh, there you have it. We're going to jar this up. Dry it out, weigh it up, combine it with this, and trust me, I was losing so much gold. I watched it just leave. So, we'll probably end up rerunning the tailings again and see what we can extract from it. But, uh, not too bad. I was expecting a couple grams. Some hard stuff to pan. I'll tell you that. the rest of the black sand out there you have it we'll continue doing the second half of this and i'll show you what that looks like okay so i'll show you how i end up drying my gold to where i don't lose as much as possible it's basically after i pan it I put
put it in a jar. A microfiber towel because a microfiber towel does not allow the bottle to move. And then I have a small fan running it. Just dry it out. So this is the night before. I'll come in the morning, I'll take the jar and shake it up a little bit. Just to move it around a little bit. But I don't do that the first night. So let's sit. Let it dry out. Because moving air is the best thing to remove any type of moisture. So that's how I dry it out. Spilt a little bit when I was pulling the mats out. So you can see the gold there. Well, how much is sitting in the tailings? There's gold in there. In fact, there's so much, there's some floating right there. That's gold floating. But I can see specks of gold in the light. Let's see if I can move this. Not very good lighting for a phone. But to the naked human eye, I can see gold all in there. So, always rear on your tailings. Especially if you spilled some when you're pulling the mats out like me. We run the second half. Oh yeah. Practically see the gold in the sand. So we'll continue with this tomorrow. Love the multi sluice, it does a damn good job. Okay, so let's get that, make sure it's zeroed out. All right, so let's go ahead and measure the first half of my gold for the day there. There you have it. Nice. 3.25 grams, three and a quarter grams. Not bad. Okay, so we're going to weigh in the second half of the sand that we ran on Sunday. And here it is. One point six and we had three point two, so that makes it four point eight. Not bad one day's work not bad at all 4.6 grams oh, I take it back three no 3.2 and 1.6 is 4.8 almost five grams for one day jeez I had to do my math there like I gotta go back to school not bad so we got a trip on March 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. I'm going to be out there for four days, technically running for three days. We'll see how we do for that weekend. But if I can come up with that kind of grams per day, it'd be nice to come home with a quarter ounce to a half ounce of gold. We'll see. Stay tuned to that episode. <laughs>